it possible you can find a job on LinkedIn? Okay, so it is possible to find a job on LinkedIn. Huh? Wow, I, lo I love that. You know, we talk about LinkedIn. You said that it's a professional platform where you share your skill sets and those things. Do you have to share everything like, you know, in your daily life? Let's say you are having a fun time with your family, friends. Do you have to share those things? What are some of the things that you have to share it on LinkedIn that will not actually affect your your account or maybe getting that connection with the like-minded individuals on the platform okay i think that's a, a this amazing question because students used to ask me this question a lot okay eric i don't know how to share on linkedin <laughs> i have joined the platform i don't and know people are posting i don't know what to push okay. all right so welcome village boy here thank you so much for making time and today we're going to talk about linkedin i have the gentleman in the house is in uh, you know an expert when it comes to linkedin all right what is linkedin what are some of the things you can share on linkedin you know he's here to you know tell us everything about linkedin you know in a world of social media you go to social media 24 7 but what are you putting out there like what kind of brand are you building right from I mean, what kind of business are you building on social media? Are you gaining any value out of it? This man here or this guy here is going to tell us everything. Eric, you're welcome. Thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> all right. All right. Beautiful. You've been on my channel for a while now. And so those of my people who have been following us for a while, they will definitely see your face. Your face is all new here. Sure. But then, you know, for formality, I want you to introduce yourself. Let's begin. Okay, so first of all, I'm Kwabna Riafe, mm -hmm. originally Kwabna Riafe, but my full name is Eric Kwabna Riafe, and uh, level 400 student, that's a final year student offering IT in the University of Cape Coast. In the University of Cape, Cape Coast. Coast. I love that. I and love that. I'm also the co-founder and CEO of Tech for Everyone, um, which we are trying to bridge the gap between the, uh, the IT knowledge gap between the um less privileged communities so okay. uh, this year we have taken it upon ourselves to train teachers on ai and other it skills okay so to correct something my brother said i'm i'm an expert right i just feel like i'm a student of life and i'm always learning so okay. maybe um the linkedin i may have so uh, i may have something to learn right but Maybe I know enough to also share the little exactly. that I know. Exactly. So the little that you, you. you would want to share. You are yeah. expert in it. <laughs> yes. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> sure. All sure. right. So first of all, let's go straight into business. You know, what is LinkedIn? When you say LinkedIn, what is LinkedIn? Okay. So just like uh, sometimes when you uh, some people hear LinkedIn for the first time, they'll ask you, what is LinkedIn? And mm. it's, it's... Okay. And sometimes it's amazing and it's not their fault, right? Mm. So LinkedIn is just like all other social media platform, but this platform is different. So this platform, international people, like people from all over the world, mm. professional people are there. So you go there to network with the right people, okay. people in your industry, people like uh who can be your mentor in the future okay so linkedin is a professional platform not just like any other platform that you can post anything mm -hmm. linkedin share insightful stuff about your career about your life that can change someone's life so pretty much that's how i would describe linkedin, LinkedIn. you know we'll go into the details of you know what you can actually share on linkedin and the things that you have to post on linkedin exactly. but it's linkedin for everyone is it for everyone okay so if you are one year old and you have something to offer mm. you have something to learn linkedin doesn't have any restricted age it doesn't have any restricted age in my case you are just like um if you are in SHS, JHS, mm. and you know, some people start learning at very early. Yeah. Someone can know how to code, code when he's in classics. Mm. So that person can offer a service, right? Okay. It doesn't matter that it doesn't always should be like when I'm done with school, then or when I'm in school, that I should get LinkedIn. Mm. I would say that LinkedIn is for everyone. LinkedIn. Regardless, you have something to so say or something to learn those from. Those in someone. primary, JHS, SHS universities. I would advise them to get LinkedIn. The earlier, the better. And but when you join early, you don't you don't have anything to lose. You don't have anything to lose. That's beautiful. Uh, you know, I 
mentioned LinkedIn to one of my friends. Is, there, is he a name of a person? <laughs> 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 All right. But it's funny because some people out there still, they don't know what is LinkedIn. They don't know the kind of brand they can build on LinkedIn, the kind yeah. of network connections they can have on LinkedIn. Sure. So I think this video is going to tell them the yeah. actual thing and the, thing, the details of LinkedIn. Exactly. Right? So let's go into it. Uh, how do you create a LinkedIn account? You know, uh, do you use the web browser or you get an app? How do you go about it? And then straightforward, you go with the, what okay. you can share on LinkedIn. So it has three platforms, hmm. whether you use the web version, whether you use the, when you are, those who are using the Android, mm. you get the, get the app from the Play Store. Okay. And those who are using the iOS, they will get the app from Apple Store. Okay. So just type LinkedIn. LinkedIn. In all these LinkedIn. platforms. Okay. You just have to sign in with your, either your Gmail or you type your own password. Yes. So it's very simple. Just like you are registering or you are signing up for uh, YouTube mm. or um, facebook and okay. all other these platforms okay okay sure. so what what actually like what should be the profile like how should you set up your profile okay so plenty of people just they hear of linkedin they hear of linkedin they set up the they just register and they just forget about it mm. <laughs> it's it's not <laughs> how it goes okay you have so to now tell us how you go about it okay so you have to first upload picture mm. get a banner so we have stages right so okay. i've even made a video a particular video that i'll maybe you can link the video mm. on the video okay. that's showing how you can get a proper linkedin profile okay. if, because maybe i don't have a laptop here to demonstrate but i'm going to summarize how you can make your profile okay, stand up beautiful so first of all you have to get a headshot mm. profile picture so it's not like any other profile picture. so it's not like your full body nope you don't have to take your shoes no you, you have, have to show you. <laughs> no. So LinkedIn is okay. very simple. Your headshots. Okay. And you have to be smiling. You don't have to wear any glasses. You, know, ah, so you, don't, <laughs> you don't have to be like... You, are you don't angry. have to do campaign no, like no, no, you no, as no, no, You squeeze your you frown your no, face. No, no, no. You, you have, have to smile. You have to smile, you know. Okay, okay. So that's LinkedIn. And you have to get a banner. You have to write something in your headlines. It shouldn't be like uh, whenever you start... It will be like student of University of Cape Coast or any other school. Mm. But it has to change it. You are not just a student. Maybe you are doing this. Maybe you are a content creator like Village Boy. You can okay. put it there. You are a cybersecurity expert. You are a food enthusiast. You can put all these there for, okay, so for visibility sake. So how about, will you, should you also include in a comedy if you are a comedian? Yes, someone can invite you for a program if oh. you are a very good comedian. And these stuff. So it means that your skill set need not to be high. Like mm, you need nope. to include them in your profile. Nope. nope. And people can reach out to you. So uh, right, just stating them, they have to be very careful that you know how to do it. But some people <laughs> reach out to me, all these kind of AI questions, okay. project management. And because I have some knowledge in those stuff, you, you, you definitely I, I, share I, I with defend them. myself. Okay. That I really know what <laughs> I'll put in there. So don't just go and put anything there. But just Even though you'll be hot. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but if you are learning, put it there, Afro. It's telling you to learn more. Maybe you are learning uh, something about cybersecurity mm. and you say that I'm aspiring to cybersecurity. Someone can be like, okay, give you some work and that will force you to learn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. something like that. Okay, let, let's progress with what, uh, how do you optimize your profile so that you gain that kind of visibility? Okay, so the first thing that I said. Mm. You can. Okay, so the first thing that I, say, uh, I recommend is that try whenever you start the linkedin mm. right they will ask you they will give you a progress bar so progress bar means you are immediately when you start you are a beginner okay when you start yeah you are a beginner mm. Mm. but that means you are a beginner right and this one maybe i'll get it i'll get you the screenshot uh, you, you they'll see what we are talking about okay so a beginner so from the beginner you have to update your profile consistently so that the beginner comes to an end so from which uh, from beginner to what to, to advance to so, advance okay. so it will be like uh, one over six okay one over six so you have to fill everything to be to complete is six exactly. over six so okay. this this consists uploading a, a profile picture adding your schools mm. adding your certificates adding um your language that you understand okay all these stuff make your profile 
complete adding your positions and that will give you that you know visibility visibility because platform. even when you start for the first time if you don't add all these stuff people can even search you and they'll be finding it difficult to see to, to, to see you so you have to make sure that immediately when you join you make everything ready wow I, lo I love that you know we talk about linkedin you said that it's a professional platform where you share your skill sets and those things do you have to share everything like you know in your daily life let's say you are having a fun time with your family friends do you have to share those things what are some of the things that you have to share it on linkedin that will not actually affect your your account or maybe getting that connection with the like-minded individuals on the platform okay i think that's a, a this amazing question because students used to ask me this question a lot okay Eric, I don't know how to share on LinkedIn. <laughs> I have joined the platform I don't and know. people are posting. I don't know what to post. Okay. So maybe um I'll take it from this point. Hmm. Since you are a student, that means you are you will learn every day. You can choose to be like whatever you learn every day, hmm. you create content out of it and share. Regardless. Hmm. Right. So first of all, what you learn, you may be pursuing some online courses. Okay. When you get it, post it you may be going for some webinars so this extracurricular stuff you have to engage yourself as a student mm. you don't have to be always just because of the school you don't engage in anything mm. you don't you know this extracurricular stuff when you do it help you to get friends yes, it exactly. help you to the visibility is there mm. and lastly most of the times what i do to get um get uh, something to post is that whenever i see any meeting mm. I join and when I join, I make sure that I capture the name of all the participants or the speakers. Okay. Then after that, I'll go and search on with uh, for them on LinkedIn. After connecting, I'll tell them that what something unique that I learned from them. So I have something to start wow. with. So these are all <laughs> tricks that I use. This is a very insightful sure. one. So we have to make sure that uh, even a meeting that you are going, mm. screenshot, maybe it's online meeting, I screenshot what whoever is talking and after that i'll post it and tell them what i learned immediately when you do that you tag the people that spoke tag the participants okay they will start following you just like that because they've they've realized that someone has gained some kind of value exactly. from them exactly. that that is amazing this is my even this is my first time i'm also learning from you you see why i told you that you're an no, expert i'm a student of life <laughs> this is a strategy that will save you you know sure, for the rest exactly. of your life Let, let's continue with with our conversation of, you know link about linkedin mm, let's get the uh the another one is LinkedIn, like we said, is a professional platform. Do you have to connect with any connection, like any connection you get from people? Do you have to? Okay, I think this, when I saw this question, I was like, oh, this, this is a nice question. Mm. Because I think um, one thing is, I have my own way of doing my stuff. Okay. And I'm not saying it should be like everyone's way of doing it. Mm. But this is what I recommend. So one thing is, people are connecting with you. Okay. First of all, you don't know what they want from you. Right. So me, whenever I see someone connecting with me, I accept the person. Okay. Right? Because I have nothing to lose. Maybe the person has a project that is bringing on board. Mm. The person has seen something that maybe he wants, he or she wants help from me. Okay. So in this case, whenever someone accepts, uh, send you a request, just accept it. Mm. But mind you, there are some, there are some uh, flusters on LinkedIn. So they oh. have so many tricks that they will use to gain your attention. Someone will be like, they will set their profile like a particular MP. So they have studied the MP. Maybe they have the MP's profile already. Okay. So they have studied the MP to, in such a way that they know the school that MP when they have the picture. So they will do their profile. They will make set up their profile just like that MP. Mm. And they will come into your DM. They will tell you that they have a scholarship, blah, blah, blah. I'm showing the, the okay. trick that they okay. use to get people. But they are, because of their hectic work and other stuff, mm. they will give you a professor number. That professor is the same person, but it's give you a number. When you reach out to that professor, I'll be like, for you to get a scholarship, you have to pay 500 mm. cities. For you, because, you know... <laughs> you also thought, looking at the profile itself and the number of followers that, that account is having, you, you, some you may people also have been, have been duped so it. many times. Mm. So maybe when you are connecting with people these are the stuff that you have to look so that you won't be a victim of it i get it so now another one is uh, apart from the things that you shared you know, how can you grow your network 
okay so do you have to randomly sh send you know connections you know like follow people uh, those kind because on other social media platform we normally do that maybe yeah. you see this one like facebook an example you'll be like oh this friend let me connect with the person you send friend request here and there do you have to do the same thing on linkedin okay so linkedin i think um i have adapted something that really helped me and i would like to share here okay. you know many people that knows apart from me going for event trying to connect with everyone sometimes i see someone friend you know someone repost someone profile okay I just have to connect with the people. Maybe mm. the person is is not in my field. He's a scientist. He's a hairdresser. I mentioned is he's anything. I just want to connect with them. Okay. One thing I realized that because of that habit, I have, like I almost connect with people. It helped me to that a time will come. I mean, didn't their help, even though their profession is not aligned with mine. Mm. But if I need their help, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> now going to connect with them. You yeah, already established with the connection exactly. with them. so you just have to go them dm them and you are good to go oh that's that's amazing so you have to be intentional about this it. it shouldn't be like okay you have to be intentional you know once i realize that when you are intentional about something you mm. do it differently mm. and when you are you are doing it anyhow you do it differently i'm intentional about gaining you know the connection that i want so i just wow go ahead and try to connect with a lot of people that, that is amazing I, I i love that and another question is uh do you have to share others posts on in on your on what do you call it um do you have to share others posts you know, human beings i've seen you world. doing something and it's amazing thing mm. you know when people share their stories and you share it like they they have some they have respect for you as in you really like what they say and that's why you are resharing it. okay and recently i see you post the good works some people are doing mm. you know when you do that people value you and even if they have an opportunity you'll be the first person so it is very mind. important it's too. very important that you see something that's helpful mm. me nowadays um, i have become active on facebook i'm not shifting it to facebook but i've become very active on facebook and what i'm doing there is positivity okay anything anything negative i won't share definitely anything positive i share okay so you see nowadays i share i really share people post a lot mm. so just like uh, just on linkedin try to share when you reach share people post, they'll be like ah this is helpful to this person that's why the person is really sharing it some people can even dm you or comment that mm. thank you for sharing my post that and is, this that... will help you to build connection i think i remember i met one guy prosper in the us right now okay he was he made a youtube video and i just reshared it mm. i viewed the video i tapped one or two things i learned from it i just reshared it and now we are friends you see yeah sometimes you know we talk and you know, that, that, is that is amazing because um i think you have been using this phrase a win-win something like that so sure. sharing social media is like it's a network you connect i connect with you you connect with someone someone also connect with exactly. so sharing the person's post definitely people are going to discover from your friend your friend through through your friend the person will just come back to your page exactly look at what you've been doing either positive or negative if the positive that it actually aligns with the person's you know uh, like it aligns with his work definitely i think the person will follow you exactly and let me say this as example as you said we in situation mm. when I, I i i joined linkedin for the first time you know what i was doing no i think i would do that thing i would do that thing maybe uh, yeah, maybe when i'm done with school okay what i was doing is that i look at the big big people in the tech mm then uh, i'll tell them that let's talk let's make a video talking about i have side some question down okay so they have some of them have fifty thousand followers and other stuff so okay I, when we connect when we connect and we do this interview i share on linkedin and that person will share you yeah. see <laughs> <laughs> when a person will share all the people first of all it's this one is it's real 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 exactly. <laughs> i'm two time but i say it's on youtube so the person will share for people to join my youtube channel and people also follow me on linkedin and some people even reach out for interview and that stuff wow so you know these are all stuff that you can do you have to be positive one thing i realized in life is that when you are positive mm. 
it's like uh, you see the world differently. Those who are positive in this world, they see the world differently. And those who are negative, those who are positive are easily to succeed. Those who are negative, because they are negative, they think everything can work. Can't so work. They, they will be always being their negative post. So be positive on LinkedIn and you grow. Mm. Sure. Amazing. I love I love that submission. Yes. And I'm very much sure that our viewers, uh, those who are watching us, are also learning something. Exactly. Because if today happens to be your first time watching us, definitely you go and then create a LinkedIn account, set a very professional profile, and you are good to go. You are going to get connected with different and, you know, people. All right. So yeah. let's continue. I, before we end this video, I'll ask you one question. And uh, I think it's simple to answer, but sure. that, that question would change someone's life. Exactly. All right. So would you go for endorsement or recommendation? Okay. So, um, and the question again <laughs> would you go for endorsement uh -huh. or recommendation you see on linkedin we sure, have sure. endorsement people can endorse you and sure. recommendation recommendation oh, okay, okay, like people sure. writing about yeah, you and people just pressing yeah, a button yeah, yeah. to endorse you which yeah. one would you go for i think they are all good because you can do both at the same time right mm. so the recommendation is perfect because recommendation i send people a recommendation when after working with them okay Right, so maybe I, uh, I think two years ago, I created a website for one man in the, I think that time he was in Italy, mm. mm. and I sent him a recommendation. So the person who based on how we worked, okay, and um, craft it. So if you look at my LinkedIn profile, I have a lot of recommendation. Those people I've worked with them, or some of them I taught them, right. So recommendation is more like detail. The person is talking about just like. Right down with some, school okay. and you are going for your lecture for a recommendation. A, a recommendation, okay. And endorsement is more like I say I know this. Okay. So I say I'm an analyst. I'm a good data scientist. I say I'm a communication. I have a communication skill. So mm. when people endorse, it's more like they are they are thumbs up in that. Oh, really? This guy is good. This, this. Really good. I think they are all like because you can do all at the same time i think all of them are important. Yeah, yeah, all of them are important but i think the recommendation <coughs> is more like in-depth uh, okay. information about what, what okay. you can okay. offer okay that's amazing you know this will be uh, i think last but not the least okay sure. right so how do you engage with your network how do you engage with them do you have to post anything even though you've already crafted everything like sharing positive uh, you know post on your uh, on your profile but how do you engage with them how do you i mean okay so i think about one year ago i was very 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 active on linkedin okay sure so the thing is you have to be active be positive okay be commenting so you post. have to be active be, be positive, positive be commenting. commenting on people post okay resharing people post okay liking people post me i have adapted a skill i don't like people post i love them okay so you can check from history because <laughs> like, this thing eh, let me even chip in this before you continue sure. the thing is me sometimes when you like like is be, it became like normal, normal something but i love actually you know gives you that kind of degree of how intentional you are about uh, you, exactly. you are about of like I, I just don't know how to put it but it gives you that kind of maybe continue I mean, you. <laughs> you know like it's more like anyone can like but love is like the thing you really like it yeah you really really like it. yeah yeah so it's more like being positive and you know when you are positive people when you it's a win-win situation so when mm. people you're being positive on the person you are not going to lose anything exactly and you are using the data anyway mm. so why don't you be positive comment reshare people post that thing it will help you to get more people engaging with your content as well mm. imagine every day you post i like i comment every day you post i like i comment one day you post i also like and comment and yeah, share if it is possible definitely so if you want people to engage you and other stuff be mm. positive be always when people are posting their certificate be happy for them congrats them mm. and with that when you have they also do the same for you exactly because one thing one strategy i've also adopted is to always even if it is your birthday i'll send you a happy birthday if exactly. you are starting a new position and it it appears in my inbox i'll definitely send you a message or a congratulatory yes. message 
because that alone it's 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 expressing that kind of humor and that kind of connection you're having with a person you know um we are wrapping up with this whole thing i believe our audience uh, have really gained so much from these insights that we've shared the last one is that you know a lot of people are chasing work they want they move right from one point to another going to offices i mean sometimes their shoes the talking sure. is everywhere off is it possible you can find a job on linkedin okay so it is possible to find a job on linkedin how huh? but it depends on you mm. it depends on your skills it depends on how serious you are so let me give you a scenario okay you have monitored one company for a very long time mm. right maybe they are doing something that you think you have the skill to do it better okay right mm. first thing what you have to do is you have to connect with whoever is in that job okay uh whoever is working there probably recruiter or the um, hr mm. and you pitch the person this idea two i have gotten a lot of job offer most of the time i don't put that my student on my linkedin profile okay and I, th I think i've gotten about three job offer on linkedin they thought i'm down with school all from the things that i push so being positive share whatever you are learning uh being able uh, being able to identify a problem okay and presenting it to a company it's likely that you get the job oh so i think me uh being a problem solver is all every company is doing because look at every company they are trying to solve a problem yeah and that problem is in the form of business exactly. and when they are able to solve that problem that's why the company exists so what i'll tell you is that it's not as easy as it is learn a particular skills mm. try to reach out to some companies see the problem that they have and see how sometimes you can even reach out to a company maybe you went to one ceo uh, program and you see that the PowerPoint is not that organized. Mm. You can just reach out to them, please. I would like sometimes you don't have to be always you you want money. You can start with you can offer free services too. And if they see that ah this guy's what he's doing, what he's capable of doing, if you give him this, it will be guy. Why not? They will just give it to you. That that is amazing. That is amazing. And so I think in a, another time in this same video we will talk about how to apply for jobs on linkedin because i think there are better ways of going about things so that at the end of the day you you learn your dream job and i think the best one of the best ways that getting to know the people before you apply getting to know the people before you apply do you have to know them in person or you no, have to online on, online online you getting to know them. so how do you know them okay so through uh, uh, i mean conversation like maybe chatting with the people or something okay like so that. let's say they have been a, a job post mm. um maybe haptel i know about three people at haptel okay so what i would do some of them i have helped them mm. on linkedin i helped some lady reach out to me he works at haptel eric helped me do this and i helped the lady okay. imagine i'm reaching out to the lady that oh please um i've seen this job post what are some of the things that you think when i do it will be likely that I'll they will, okay these are all help Mm. so this is a win -win. some people you help them and three months time you realize that they want to also do something to pay you back wow wow that's that's amazing eric thank you so much for your time we really appreciate you so much because you are the final year student the project work a whole lot of work you know on your head but you made time with village boy to have this very insightful conversation where you know i really appreciate my audience too i'm very much sure they've learned something so they are you know actually appreciating your 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 time what's your final words then we wrap up little boy uh, i want to say that you are doing a great job you know it's not everyone that have time to discuss topic like this that mm. will help our people you know you can see some people they have camera on their face all they are talking about is beef 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 <laughs> this fighting this this fighting this and we all know that you have been following this kind of content yes yeah and it's not adding any value to our people exactly. we just become happy we laugh and that's all by you being positive about promoting your village looking at positive stuff it's a great job and i want to you know mm. be with your audience to tell you that you are doing a great job and i'm very grateful that you selected me to definitely to be part of this change i'm super excited thank you so much eric kindly subscribe to the channel be part of us 24 7. And these are many things we bring on the platform for you to learn and improve upon your personal self and your professional life 
you know uh, in as much as we talk about our villages these things will also help encourage the younger ones those who are also struggling to come up so join us 24 7 and let's get interactive share the video and comment i will see you another time peace out <laughs> <laughs>